it's here for your single act cheerleaders. Hey, keep those hands up clapping and welcome the Saddleback High School dance team to the field. Captains Odalis Matrano and Natalie Perez are leading the team this year as they head into competition season. Coach Lindsey Guerra choreographed this performance to the song Cool for the Summer. This year, the team is also benefiting from the guidance and training of former Saddleback dance team member and alum Alma Serrano as the new assistant head coach. Dance team advisor Miss Core would like the team to know she is so impressed by all their hard work that everyone has contributed this season. Let's hear it for your Saddleback dance team! Whereas it is opening night for your football team, technically it's opening night for your high school band. Put your hands together and welcome the Saddleback High School Band!
let's hear it for your Saddleback High School Band. You got four minutes and 40 seconds to fill your belly with something good from the concession stand. Remember, all proceeds go to benefit Saddleback Football. Also, make sure to get your 50-50 ticket. You could walk out of here a big winner. Get your 50-50 ticket from the concession stand. Also, look for the 50-50 ticket sellers walking amongst you in the stands. Second half about to get underway. For the Roadrunners, number 32. Benjamin Rodriguez back to kick. He never got 11 guys on the field at the same time. Huh. It was either 9 or 11. Did it again. Here we go again. Yep. So. Somebody wasn't ready. I'm not sure there's a penalty right now, but something was. We have the slowest beginnings to this game for both halves yeah. I've ever witnessed. But quick moving first half it was, that's for sure, with, well, the, with the, the amount of running well, we saw. Well, the in first, uh, the, the first kickoffs, we had yeah. two out of bounds. Offside and then two out of bounds. Yeah. Now, I think he didn't wait for him to signal. I think they have to wait for the... Yeah, because yeah, they, yeah, they, they blow a whistle here, but there was yeah. no flag. Yeah. Well, because they're, not, they're still yeah. kicking off in the 35. And I, I think he just didn't wait for the referee to signal kick. Got to wait till there's the ref gives of, you the go. There's a bit of ballet to Them's this. The rules. You've got to wait for it. Here we go. Hands up. Now you can start. Cowboy up. Here we go. Ah, ah. Kicker only takes a couple steps to put his foot into it. Most kickers will line up about five or six yards behind. He doesn't. About half that. Kind of a short kick. Good run. And a decent run back. 48, As 49 yard line. Good, yeah. Very good field position. Yeah, nearly if you're not going to kick it deep, you might as well kick it to the side like that. Nothing wrong with that. And he got the ball about to 20. Good field position already. And uh, he's out. Wow. Last night, we saw a kid, both teams kicked it into the end zone. And right. I and one the, the, the kid from uh, Mahika, our coffee guy, Mahika kicked yeah, a couple into the end zone, and also a good field goal. That's a great kicker. What an extra benefit to have in high school. Yeah. And a great last name. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, we, we had fun with that. Give me a cup of Mohica. And a, and like a yeah. Starbucks creation. Yeah, and a uh, as well as a field goal or a good kickoff. First and ten, of course. Ball at their own 47-yard line. Come on, guys! Four Football. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come, oh, on! come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Flags and the whistles. This is just Aaron football here tonight. Not good to see at the beginning of any half for the uh, Jaguars. Delay of game. Too much time. We promise football will occur. Gabriel Moda is your left tackle. He's a junior, played on the JV in the 15 season. Left guard is Kevin uh, Cabada. Senior returning starter, center snapping that football, Andy Marana, senior returning starter, one of the captains. Right guard is Paul Mora, just like it sounds, senior returning starter. And Derek Liang, he's a senior, was a backup last year. And the tight end is Aldana, Emerson Aldana. So uh, the front for the Jaguars. Look out, keep it on the ground here. Get sandwiched in between two uh, green, uh, green pants kids. And they try to go wide with the, with, with the long handoff. Worked for a minute. And a good game, solid game. 28 on the dash there. That is uh, like, Julian Aglianti. Aglianti the senior. some yards. Not, not, not too much, but he gained some. But that's the way they have to attack. So, yeah, six yard gain. Gets him out. Uh, to a second and nine situation from their own 44. So still a very good yeah, field position. Right. And again, you don't want to give a team that's explosive as they are on the ground a short field, but that, that's what the Saddleback has done. All right, Avalos drops back a little bit after faking the give, tosses it, it's complete. Nice catch there by his key man, Gus Guerrero. Gus, down he goes. He gets clobbered there, but wisely hangs on the football. Good play by him. A good catch, went up with both hands, nice strong job. hands, caught it Got his body in traffic. Textbook, very nice uh, job by him. Also, also strong him. hands by the quarterback, because as you can see, the ball was tapped. Yes. But he recovered. Ricky Seha, the linebacker, control. brought him down. Seha. And Avalos did a really good job. I was faked out a little bit. I thought he had out just for, just for a split second there. I think he pulled in a couple of the defensive tackles there. And they were fooled as to who had it and just took another step or two back and he let it he let it he let it fly. That was a pretty play. 
give them an A for execution. First and 10 at the 44, the plus 44. They got about uh, seven or eight yards on that one. Here's the give, and he gets slammed early. Down. You ain't going nowhere. Santa Maria, loss of about one or two, I'd call it even two. Big number 99, Jose Ferias, 265 pounds, 6'9". Wow, that's probably the arguably the, tall, the tallest football player I've seen on a high school roster, perhaps ever. That is tall for us, for anybody, much less a, a high school kid. Wow, I didn't realize he was that tall. I see him down the field now, and now I realize. I don't know why I didn't notice him before, but now I do. He's, of course, the left defensive end. All right, strong sides of the left. Second and 10 of the 44. They're in shotgun this time. Now we have whistles here. They're calling timeout, I think. Timeout yeah, the yeah. That, that, timeout for the came, Jaguars. That came from the coaches. That came from the coaches. Didn't like this. It, this has been a kind of a goofy second half. They haven't been set. That, that yeah. Kind of no one seems they, really settled. They're not settled at all. Call the first game jitters, but this is the second game. Second game for... Uh, for uh, Sigerson, for Sa for Sigerson, Sigerson. I, I think Saddleback had a game. Uh, this is the first. Uh, so Saddleback is uh, actually no. Saddleback sets their first game. This is the second game of the season for Sigerson. Yeah. So, uh, by the way, Sigerson they return uh, between offense and defense. They only return three starters. They lost a lot of kids at graduation, but that always happens in the high school level. Um, and they got six guys, five or six, that regularly play both ways. So even though they got a, a big roster, about 60 plus kids, about 60, 60, 62, 63, of course, a fair amount of backups and everything, um, they, uh, they have a number of kids that uh, might be panting for breath come fourth quarter. Everyone's healthy, though, for uh, Segerstrom. Uh, no injuries in camp. Everyone that should be playing is playing tonight. They have a healthy camp, a healthy season so far. Really they're also. Shot then they come. Avalos rolls to his right, puts it up. It's caught in the seam there. A good curl pattern. Very Flight. nice pattern. He was he right, right at open. the first down marker. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe a little short. Just beyond the linebackers. And he found the open. The soft area turned. Well, well conceived play. Good pass. Good route. Good yeah, that was pretty play. And uh, he was just beyond uh, the linebackers and just inside the defensive uh, backfield uh, line. So uh, yeah, very sturdy and very short. Yeah, that's got to be an inch, yeah. maybe two. I thought he had it. So. Yeah, the first down, uh, they've got the ball at the Remember John Madden's great line, left foot or right foot? And which one the referee uses, it matters. I never quite understood that, but it's, it's funny when he says it. So. Yeah. Like a lot oh, of things. John Madden, I remember watching the first game he ever broadcast. It was 1981, beginning of the season, I think in Washington. Yeah, it was at Washington, Dallas at Washington. And it was when he began okay. his announcing career eons ago. I had a question or two. I was in high school. We have laundry on the field. And you were probably Full teaching college by then. Yeah, like the what, 81? 81. That's when I started teaching. Oh, really? How about that? After working for a few years. Uh, Third and five and a half. Where did John Madden go to college? Ooh, I should know this. Uh, I knew this at one time, and I forgot. And marching the penalty what, against okay, the uh, Seagulls and Jaguars, by the way. Hang on. What does, what's his unique phobia? Oh, he doesn't like to fly. Why? Ah, uh, that I don't know. I think it has to do with where he went to school. Oh, that's right. That's right. There was a team that uh, died in a crash. San Luis Obispo. That's right. That's right. I forgot. San Luis. He also coached at Santa. He also coached at uh, uh, John Hancock Junior College in I Santa did, Maria. I did which not is, know that. Yeah, he, that was his first coaching job. Look good, out! Good Scampers break. downfield, breaks free. Enough for the first down. How about that? Good. They needed a lot. They got enough. That was uh, Denilson Santa Maria. Santa Maria, by the way, is the one full last day, not two separate San Luis Obispo team was one of the, I think Marshall may have been the other, but when the plane crashed, killed many of the players, he was not on the plane. Yeah, he wrote about and, that and I believe in his that's book. one of the reasons, he, I think that is the reason he doesn't fly. He drives everywhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, he wrote about that in his book, and I read his book, but his book is about 32 years old. I read it back in 1985, and his name of his book was, Hey, I Wrote a Book by John Madden. It was a pretty good book, too. First and ten, Jaguars at the 30, plus 30. Avalos in the pocket on first down. They like to throw Good. first down. Nice spiral pass, but too much, too deep. There yes, was some that's contact. A penalty. Yeah, that's a legitimate call. Yeah, I understand why it happened, but it. We have laundry on the field. I think if he just stayed up. Uh, Good pass. He threw it out beyond him. Gave the receiver a chance. They were about right out of room. But if you do that, you give the defender a chance to do something he shouldn't. That's what happened there. 
there was a coach saddleback on the coach saddleback. is not exactly yeah, appreciative of that call, and he's letting. I him think know. he's arguing that the pass isn't catchable. I believe. Yeah, that's my I, guess. Uh, that, that's uh, that's the, Rob the, Johnson. He's ticked off. I'm not sure the uncatchable applies here. He is not happy. He I have did never bump seen into him, so him a couple of times. He, he, this man what, knows what, his rules. What he's saying is his man was looking back. I see. And I, he was looking back. He didn't. He ran into the guy, but he was looking back to the ball, and that's what he's saying. And the ball was, was also he's not well, signaling. Yeah, they're, they're, they're holding off on this play yeah. because he's still on the field arguing. Yeah, I, still, I, I understand. He's this guy knows the rules. I know him pretty well, yeah. and he's uh, he's a pretty calm guy. And he he is a pretty poised man, and he wouldn't be arguing for that fight in, in a fiery manner like that unless he thought he was right. I'm not kidding. Wish we had a replay. Yeah, we, I do too. He is not happy. I understand where he's coming from. But in high school, that is not linked to the, it's just a 15-yard penalty. 10 to 15-yard penalty. Yeah. So first and 10 from the plus 15 for the Jaguars. Left wing back goes in motion, but they give it to the single back set man, and he goes to off tackle yeah, to the right yeah, side. Yeah. Not much there. Again. In the C gap, nothing doing. Not, not much going Julian on there. Nick Lenti. Nick Maybe a yard if that. He met up with a good portion of that defensive line, including the big guy. S big number 6'9". Uh, who was that kid again? 88, uh, I think. Fadias. Yeah, the, Fadias. the Saddleback interior lines played well. They, they're, they're not making a lot there. Occasional, but not much. Uh, it's the outside that causes a little bit more trouble for him. Second and uh, we'll call it nine from the 14. Avalos looking to throw here, a quick three-step drop, puts it up, and he throws it a little bit too low. He's been at, he has been inaccurate tonight. That one was too low. He wasn't really rushed, although he uh, he set himself up pretty well. That was some pressure, but not terribly. But that, that was a complicated play action out of that because he had to roll back and he had receivers coming through the line, getting into the pattern. They weren't wide receivers. You can sort of track all the way and trying to catch him into a corner pattern in traffic. That was a tough route. He threw it too low, you're right. So it'll be third and long, third and nine. They're probably in field goal range already, and uh, that could be a, you, know, you want any kind of score when you're down here because you're only they, up by a tentative six. Yeah, they, uh, they'd love to get that extra extra but point or two. Back to split and set weak. Uh, the far one to the left. There's a double. Weak side, look out. Oh, the ball's loose. The ball's loose, look out. It's, it's, it's but I think they it's not back. the first time that they've. But that kicked him oh, back to the 20. Away. That'll make it a 37 yard, and that's probably out of yeah. the field goal range. That might hurt him right there for that. That might be the difference maker for a field goal attempt, uh, being good or not good. Or maybe not even going for it, like you said. So that pushes him back to the 20. So. High school level, 37 yards, if, that is, if that's what you do. It's not out of the realm of possibility, but it's not a guarantee by any means. It can be done. That's a, I that's don't, a decent I don't distance. Play our kickers tonight. And I don't think a kicker is, yeah, are they putting a the kicker on the field? I guess they are. Yep, okay, they're going to try for it. it. Good luck. And that is that fit number. A lot is. And the, corner, the cornerback, good snap. Good kick. Some Actually, distance here. It looks very like, good. Looks kick. like it's accurate to me. It is, it is good. good. Just clears Remarkable. the post. Just clears the bar. How about that? Very nice kick there. But Excellent. A good, a good snap. Yeah, that was well done. Cornerback, running back, who does the long snapper. A good hold by the regular quarterback, Macias. And number 53. I can't read. I can't read. 53 for. Uh, 53 is. Uh, Hang on. We'll get your name here in a minute, son. Three, we've got the... Uh, we have no light up here, and sometimes small print gets just unreadable. Lupe Hernandez. Yes. Hernandez. There you go. OC Excellent kick. So, Excellent all the way around. Play like that knocks in a tight game like this. It could be a good, big difference maker, because that right there is a, is the difference between yeah. a one-score game and a two-score game. And for Saddleback, a, that might be a tall order. It's, yeah. The it's, way their offense has struggled here tonight. Because Saddleback hasn't shown they can... Uh, can, can do that. Certainly put up 14 yeah. points can be really tough for him. Again, if the the, goal, so even more so for Sangerstrom, no mistakes, you got the game. Played right. good defense, decent offense, and no mistakes. They almost had a fumble there, but they did have a fumble. They recovered. Even though it's a, out of the whole thing. a low two-score game, it is a two-score game, and if I'm set, if I'm a, a Sangerstrom, I'm going to Don't let it hit more. the ground. Yeah, look out, that's an anybody's ball. Don't forget, it doesn't have to hit anybody. He's got it, he scoops it up. A little bit of a mental error, but he, he's able, because it was a relatively short kick. Short return though, because he hesitated and he gets it out to almost about the 30 yard line. He got clocked there by a couple of guys, including the lead tackler was uh, Sam Sandoval, double S, who plays scat back. And he plays some special teams, actually at the 29 yard line. So again, let's get you the starting up front five for the Saddleback uh, Roadrunners in green pants and uh, off white shirts there. 
Uh, Ricardo Sanchez is your left tackle, sophomore. Played freshman football last year. The left guard is Jose Frias, senior returning starter. David Pedroza, who also doubles with the middle linebacker. Um, played in 15 but wasn't regularly a starter. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, he is a ret returning starter. Center, snapping the football. Joel Martinez is a right guard. Uh, senior did not play last year on the varsity, and the right tackle is Fernando Lopez, senior returning starter. Good job in the edge. Yes, standing corner to edge defense. 85 that time. 85 for Sagerstrom. They got pushed back for about two or two and a half yards on that one. Aldana made the stop. Uh, the announcer, Alvano on the tackle. It was 85. They lost Good job pushing up field. Push that. Forgive me, they lost, they lost uh, about, let's see, they had it at the uh, 29 or at the 24, so five yards lost, or maybe even six. I thought it was only three at first. My mistake. My eyes are bad or my math is bad or both. So Saddleback's looking at second and long here, second and 16. Girls, he'll be deep in their own territory. The quarterback is going to the air. He puts it up, a nice good short play. pass. It's caught. Nicely caught. And he gets some good yardage after the grab there. Gets caught from behind now before the damage is done. Short of the first down, but a nice play and a nice gain nonetheless. And uh, De Leon, Estrada. Estrada on that catch. And uh, yardage after the grab. He was brought down from behind there by Francisco Padilla, who was a strong side safety, a senior, played last year. I'm not sure if he was a starter, but he saw some action. And Saddleback looking at a third and a, uh, yeah, four yards to go. And uh, this is going to be a money play. Even though we're inside uh, five minutes here in the second quarter, again, they're, they're mostly a ground team and they need two scores. And they, we, again, we haven't seen much offensive prowess from them. The right side is the strong side. They go down the middle, though, off tackle to the left, the B gap, as they call it. And between the center and the guard. Now, this is a big, this is a big fourth down. They're it is. very close. They may even have the first. They may say that's a first. Aldana and also Christian that's Carmona in on the stop. Folks, I'm sorry. Aldana. Even with my eyes. Yeah, that looks like a first that's down. That's a to me. first down. They got, yeah, they got four. Okay, I thought he was short of it, but oh, they, they got it. Carmona, yeah, they, with the way they spotted it, yeah. So the Rovers haven't had too many first downs in tonight, but they get one here. Carmona and Aldana in on the stop. And uh, again, Seager, some fans, as you can hear him screeching from the other side. Big play that time by the middle of the line of the running back. In their white, they're sitting on the opposite side. They're sitting on the visitor side because they're technically the visitors visiting team tonight, even though it's their home field. Home game here for Saddleback. Wing back this time to the right. Wing back takes his dash. And he, oh, nice hole there. He hits it. Still on his feet. I thought he was going to get more. He had a good head of steam going there. And then linebacker crew there and just, just knocked him to the ground hard. That's, that's a better play for them. Don't try to go wide. Go out and cut back. There's a number of names that can be called, but that's I know Jim Brown for them here like to tackle the, the old USC play. Look outside and cut inside, and the play's actually meant to go inside. They're not going to get outside on Sagerson. Sagerson's are going to stack up everything. Yeah. They're going to cut up inside hard. Yeah. They're not, not super they, fast, but they're fast not, enough. Not, not cut, but yeah. come up hard. That was Jacob Jimenez on chance the dash there. Second down, and uh, let's see here, about six yards to go from the 44. Some pretty good field position here for Saddleback, but they got to take advantage of it. Get slammed back and hard. That was Giovanni. Giovanni Estrada. He got thrashed. Aldana in on the stop. Yep. Carmona once again. Those guys are teaming up here more and more here in the second half. Aldana's the uh, defensive end. Only a sophomore, six foot two thirty. That's a big kid for a sophomore. That's a big kid for anybody. And uh, I'm sure he packs away a few meals at his household. So Saddleback with a big money play here right now. Third down. Another third and five. Third and f long four. We'll call it actually third and four. Third, they got it to the 49. They're at the 45 of their own. Good De Leon puts it up under pressure. He gets it. Oh, it's complete. He's got the first down. Did he bobble the ball? He got it. And couldn't wrestle away from. He had him around the feet there, around the ankles. Brought him down, but he got the first down. Wiseing is on the football. Very nice job by him by number six. An excellent play getting away. Went a tremendous pressure by the quarterback. Put the ball on target. Nathan Ramirez. He fought. He fought the defender, yeah, he made did. a very fine catch. He, he wasn't able to squirt loose, but he was able to get enough for the first down. He, had, he needed four, he got six. And we have an injury as we have a player who is being attended to. I don't, you, you can't really see him. I guess he's on the ground there. Now he's up. He's right on the saddleback side. He's kind of looks like, it, looks like it's his ankle. That's, oh, that's Jacob Roa. They kind of need Jacob Roa. They kind of need him. That's not a good thing as he's one of their... Uh, Better players on offense, uh, on the offensive backfield. So, hope he's okay. Clock does stop with the uh, injury timeout. 
It will be a first down here, and you can't say this very often. This might be the first time we're seeing it here tonight. At most a second, but it's a first down in enemy territory for Saddleback. But they need to take advantage of it. They are down by nine. Nine zero. Got the uh, Seekers from 49 yard line. Two receivers to the long side, the left side of Daly on the quarterback. He's a senior. But again, new at quarterbacking. Gives the give. Kind of gains yards as he, as he goes down. Nice shot there by Giovanni Estrada. The man with many vowels picks up a few yards there. Nice seven yard gain, I would say. He got hit by the tall one, big number nine, Francisco Padilla. He is listed as six foot, looks a little bit taller than that to me. He's a strong side safety. Of course, when you play strong side safety, your man to pick up is a tight end. That is your assignment for most of the game when there is a tight end. So we're inside two minutes and counting. Again, Saddleback coming out of their traditional huddle. They are not a no huddle team. Strong side that left side. I think they have two uh, tight ends on that left side. They're running to that strong, very strong side. Doesn't make much of a difference though for him. Maybe they get two yards and that's about it. He gets buried early, Estrada. There's, it's not a power eye, but it might as well be. Yeah. It's, it's a full, full backfield, full house backfield. Not a straight T, not a straight power eye, but it's there's a pure running, pure running attack. Yeah, they had two. They're, they're just saying line up, and we're coming right after you. Yeah, they you had, know it, we know it. They had two linemen to the right of the center and four, four to the left. You don't see that very often. Well, that's a good old unbound, unbound line. Yeah. And look at look at the backfield. They're, they're stacked at the eye yeah, on the are. left. Yep. They got a full back back there. Heavy yeah. strong. Well, now it's a strong eye, but strong eye formation. But as there's the, the motion to the left to the right with the tight end. And they just get buried down the middle there. They go for the B gap there between the center and the uh, guard. It doesn't get much. Vega. No gain. Maybe half a yard. Carmona on the stop brings down Vega. And you'll be looking at a fourth and uh, fourth and relatively short. Fourth and four. Again, fourth and four, fourth and five. This is the yeah. third time in a row they've had that. And they've made the first two. We're inside a minute here in the third quarter. And they get a lot of time off the clock. Yeah, they are. They are not exactly. Yeah, they, they don't, they're, they're, their offense is not exactly moving quickly or being efficient about things, and that's as far as the clock goes. And that may hurt you in a two-score game where your offense has not shown a lot of firepower, really, at all. Every second counts in a game like this when you're saddled back. Timeout, is, this is just bad clock management. I'm sorry. It just is. Yeah, they're, they're, I don't know where it comes from. Somewhere along the line, they got to speed this up. So Rob Thompson is consulting with his troops here. Oh, well, we have a chance to get to the coaching staff for the uh, for the set Seagersham Jaguars. Pardon me. By the way, I checked with coaches at halftime. We were. They said no, that is not legal to have two men in motion at the same time. We were we were laughing about that. <laughs> Well, we We've got the staff here for uh, the Jaguars. Uh, Stephen Ro Stephen Rodriguez with a PH in the middle is the defensive lines coach. Danny Danny Villa Gomez is the wide receivers and the defensive backs coach. So he coaches both uh, squads that are going up against each other in practice. Um, Russ Dement is your offensive lineman's coach. He takes care of the up front guys. Ray Avalos is the running backs coach for Seagerson. I remember him from last year. Uh, Tommy Dobson is the defensive coordinator. Uh, he's in charge of the guys that are out there right now in their white and black and red. And Fred Macias is your, uh, and we also have Fred Macias as a defensive player too. I guess they got two of them. He's, and then outside linebackers is uh, Robert Mays, and I believe uh, Macias spent some time with the inside linebackers on his practice days, practice time. Scamping to the right side, trying to turn the corner on the outside on the right. Kenny, I don't think he did. I think they, good luck. That's the most successful outside play they've had. I Keith, think he's slightly Keith, short. Keith Morales but at least made the they stop there. Something. This is going to be really close. I, I think he's short, but my eyes don't see oh, him too high no up. no doubt about it. If he's on this side of the line, That's yes. First down. They did hold him. Four. Sigerson. They, held, they needed a four. He got about two and a half, maybe three. You get that many third and fives, it's awful tough to convert, especially when you don't have a passing attack. Right. He had one good pass there. That was excellent pass, but that was about it. And that's the last play of the third quarter, play, folks. And this is a pretty quickly moving football game. It's been a cleaner game here in the second half as far as the penalties go. Except for the opening kickoffs. Correct, correct. <laughs> you got that right. And those have been, With that those, those are things we will tell stories about. Yeah, I don't think yeah, we. I don't think I've ever seen uh, four attempts for a uh, field or for a uh, kickoff, which you saw in the beginning of the game. The first okay, half. Let, let me get a couple of things here. Sagerstrom's, up, Sagerstrom's upcoming schedule uh, at Laguna Beach, at Godinas, Northwood, Westminster, 
Orange, Laura. Yeah, Laura. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're an old high school. They've been around a and while. And I'll turn the page here. And they will end up with Santa Ana. The Saints we saw play very well last night. Looking good team. Oh, it end up with Ocean View. Both these teams made the CIF last year. I believe that Sigurdsson beat Saddleback last year. They did in the first round. I and was Santa Ana made the playoffs last year, eight and three, and they lost in the first round. Actually, we were supposed to do that game because, of course, two schools from the broadcast area in a playoff game, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I was informed way too late. They all lost. Valley High School lost their quarterback. He uh, is going to be a junior this year. He played the second half of last uh, season, and he went to Villa Park at the last minute. And uh, Coach Moore was very disappointed in that and very heartbroken. Down he that's, goes. That's good defense. That defense acts like they want to get the ball back. Not much blocking get an, there. Get an injured player for Sagerstrom on the right. Santa Maria, we got a player slow to get up. It looks like, like he's okay. He's probably going to trot off for a couple plays. Second and 12 coming up. They push him back for a loss of two. The defense hasn't had too many stops for losses, but they do here. Saddleback's defense, that is, of course. And uh, push back to about their own 39-yard line or so are the uh, Jaguars. And again, if I'm the Jaguars, I'm going to probably put the passing game in neutral because they've thrown a little bit more than I thought they would, especially in the first half. They, in the second half, they tried to sort of take my unofficial suggestion to run more. It hasn't been very successful. They did get the three points, yeah. and they did get the pass for the pass interference. But they go to the air here. Look at this. Wide second open. Second and long, and they put it up. Nice catch. He meant to get it. Very, very perfectly timed pass. He's still fighting for yards, dragging a guy with him, too. An extra about 15, Excellent about an extra run. eight yards after the catch at least. Excellent How about run. that? What a great effort. And How I about will, yards after catch with player hanging on you? That's, that that would be a stat for me, and that was yes, an yes, impressive one. He about eight or nine after he was being dragged in. Might have been a bit of a physics lesson, although both receivers, both guys seem to be at the same size, but the receiver probably was maybe an inch or two taller, maybe outweighed him a little bit, but, uh, but he was much. hanging on for dear life to the defender, but he couldn't uh, quite stop him early. Excellent play call. Yeah, Again, it was. Deep he play was action, a lot of stuff going on, and you hit the guy swinging out there. He met the ball, and the ball met him. Perfectly timed throw. Can't ask for it better. About a gain of about 30 yards. Look out. The uh, Seagulls and Jaguars on the march once again. Avalos had to keep it this time. I guess that was a... Uh, Maybe had another idea, but down he goes. No, it, was, it was a quarterback keeper. Oh, two yards. It's an, op an option, and the, I, he decided to keep it. I'm not sure that's pre-planned or not. Sometimes it's pre-called, sometimes not. But he and they kept the ball and went up the middle. G gained a little, two or three yards. So they're taking a the time out of the huddle. I don't blame them. You know, but melt every clock, every tick yeah. off the right clock now, you can in a game right like now, this. Might as well sit on the ball. Take yeah. the air out of the ball. Run for your plays. And take the air out of the ball. Make that clock your friend. Take the air out of the ball. Throw a shutout. That's just wise football. Because you're up by two scores and uh, make that, you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't. Double wing they come, their usual formation. Thundering downfield, stop me if you can. Very oh. strong off tackle play. Wow, that was Fair nice. That was uh, big number 28. That was that guy's hard to bring down on a first hit. Julian Neglente. Uh, Neglente is listed at 5'10", 205 pounds. He's a senior. He's a monster. That's a good sized boy. He can move even though he's got some good size to him. A little bit too light for maybe for a fullback and maybe too tall for it. But he's got some size, some speed, and strength. He's got a good combination of all. Maybe he'll act a little speedy in that, being that size, but he's fast enough. And uh, you are not going to bring him down in the on the open field with one guy, especially if you give a few pounds to him. Not going to happen. You need at least two. So wings to the both sides. We have a short receiver to the left side. Pitching and running to that left side. The longer side is number three. Kind of crashes his body into the defender more than the other way around. Blisses his way down to about the about the area for the first down. Nothing even speed. Just great speed, great blocking out front. Say up, Notice down. This, the fullback shifts it over that little step, yeah, that did. last step there. Uh, get that little bit of a tiny bit of an edge. Good run to the outside, moving the ball. Sammy Sandoval on the stop. Nice job by him. Or Sammy Sandoval, pardon me, running the ball. Seha on the stop, but not before the damage was done. That was a nine-yard gain on first down. They had it at the... Uh, 15 yard lane, now they got it about the six. So threatening once again, the Jaguars here. Can Stegerson, or can uh, Saddleback stop them? They need to, in a big way. Thrash back here and bad. Good play by Saddleback. Good, good penetration good down the middle. Santa Maria, not much, the, yard, much yardage there. Big number 51 coming in there and making him pay the price. He's had a good night here tonight on defense. Rene Gonzalez. Pushed him back for uh, 
Loss of a couple yards, and you'll be looking at, uh, yeah, they'll be snapping it from about the 18-yard line. Okay, while you're doing that, look. Was well, it the 16 or the break, 18? Break for a moment. Let me look at Saddlebacks coming up uh, uh, schedule. Uh, Santa Ana Valley next week. Then Western, we'll probably be out there Century, for that one. Los Amigos, Estancia, Godinas at Laguna Beach. That would be October. Now is the time. Everybody they finish with uh, 50, 50 right here, right Calvary now. Chapel and, and at Costa Mesa on November 4th. Looking Seven. forward to a return trip to the CIF. Knox, I gotta ask you a question because you know more about college football history than I do, Division One and all. And of course, you played college football. I didn't, but I know there was a famous uh, a head coach uh, uh, uttered a, a line that, of course, later became famous. He was very much a run-oriented coach. I don't know who it was. I'm assuming that you would because you know more about these things. Who uttered the infamous line? Well, when you throw the football, three things can happen, but two of them are bad. It was Darrell Royal. Okay. University of Texas, the great coach down there. He and Frank Burrells at Arkansas had wonderful Thank things in the 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. He said, when you throw football, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> we like to run the ball. I remember my dad telling me that yeah, when I was a kid. That, that was a great line back then. Back at the time, it was good. Gonzalez in on the stop again. They get a couple of those yards back. They get them. They get themselves out to let's see here inside the ten at about the eight yard line. We'll call it about uh, it's about a good uh, eight or about a nine yard gain. Another Texas coach. I think, I think it was Zane yeah. Lemons who was a basketball coach. Very funny man. Not a bad coach either. But a wonderful line about basketball. He said, "I like tall guys. Mm. Short guys get tired. Big guys don't shrink." Ah. Not bad. I hadn't heard that one. That's pretty good. Hey, let's bring out the chain gang. So they're very close to the first down. They're going to actually bring out the sticks. The stick men are marching on the field, marching out onto the field, I think, for the first time tonight. And uh, out they go. 809 left. Nine to nothing. Sagerstrom's over Saddleback. Checking this out very carefully. A first down. So it's been a healthy season for uh, really both uh, squads. Healthy camp, I should say, for uh, Saddleback. Of course, their I first game, second game, as we mentioned, for uh, Seagerstrom. And uh, Rob Thompson mentioned, uh, mentioned that uh, middle linebacker, uh, one of the middle linebackers is uh, out with injury, but that's about it. So they do get the first down. His goal to go. They're looking for some room on that outside. Look there, out. That's Stanford the fly. He goes yep. in step. And he is in. Untouched touchdown. And that'll be the nail in the coffin. I can assure you of that. I think so. I would that, think that's so. That's a variation. It's a double wing version of the fly. That, 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 that fly sweep. It's not a reverse. It's a sweep. And they they, they started it back in uh, Nevada guy. One of the Nevada guys started it. Yeah, that's right. It. And he, they got now. that going really part about 16, 18 years ago. Very, maybe, I don't know, one cut, one coast or the other. And it was tougher than heck to stop. And that's version, you just give it to him at full speed, heading to the outside, and you got a fast guy and turning the corner. That was essentially a fly sweep. They shift over from the left side to bring the guys in the middle for the traditional extra point. So not trying anything fancy here. Looks good to me. This kicker's got a good leg on him. I like him. It's good. It's that was a good nothing. kick, a oh, nice. at very average snap, and a very fine placement. That's why the holder so good. He had to catch the ball and put it over, get it down. Kicker had the patience to wait and then kick good. Yeah. Good it's combination. The holders not to panic when things go. Good combination. Not 100 percent, like it did there. Yeah. Six, 16 to nothing. And that fly sweep, uh, folks. Uh, Knox and I here have a bit of a history of announcing football in LA County, and of course you saw the sweep run to perfection on. In some cases, with Monrovia High School years ago, when you see the Monrovia games, they they ran that sweep to a tee back in like '99, yep. '98. They look sharp. By the way, I was in Paso Robles last month with some friends, learning about all the wineries up there. Yeah. And so I, I kept thinking back to the fun we had up there when we went up to see the CIF playoff game. That was pretty wild. That was a great game. Well, we were still kind of getting to know each we, other. Oh yeah, but it was our first years. Our first drive year up together. There. And uh, but by the way, there's some of the great, great wineries up there. Oh, what just wonderful! I still remember we had Kentucky Fried Chicken on the way to the game. Remember? <laughs> that I forgot. I got a pretty good memory when it comes to food. Look out! A nice run return here. Oh yes! He gets past the last guy. Does he have enough speed? Look out! He's at the 40. Now that's the speed. No one's gonna catch him. The flags. There. Oh, I see a flag on the field though. That's
You'll understand that, folks, what we're talking about when you see it, when you hear us talk about it. We'll always explain it. That's it. Never mind. Saturday Night Live, 1970s. Okay. They push it across. He's in. The two-point conversion converts. The quarterback is across. I see no signal. I see no signal. I thought I saw a signal from the far guy. There's a player coming out the field. He's counting players. He's counting. Yeah. If that was the... If that was the 12th player, it's no good. Well, they still, I, 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 with a far official. Okay. okay. He was the 11th player coming up. It's just like he's in motion. It's not an effect. So they, but if it was a 12th player, I think yeah. he would have called it. They did that with so 10 players. Good. And that guy is regularly the quarterback. He dashes across on that far side there. Nice job by him. Saw where to go. He took it. Count the players. If there's 11 out there and he was the 12th one, it's a penalty. Otherwise, it's not. Because it's like being in motion. No, no penalty for that. Well, they'll kick off, I'm sure, regular to uh, to Seagerson. Of course, there's 7:37. Yeah, long time left. 7:37. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta put a dent in this. Uh, look, look how Seagerson offense. Look how close up Seagerson yeah, is. Yeah, they yeah, know they're, 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 they're not kicking deep. Yeah, their deepest guy is only at the 15 yard yeah, line. They, they know they're gonna try to, to pooch it. They know what to expect. So the kicking game is not a super strength here for Saddleback, and they kick it to the second deepest guy. He takes it about the 21 yard line or so. Tries to find a lane, not quite, but he stays around the sidelines and he gets knocked out of bounds there. This motion brings him down, and uh, that was Keith Morales on the return. Good return there, about, about 20 yards. Actually, more than that, he took it about the 22, got down to the 46, so about a 24-yard return. Very nice job by him. And he dragged about two guys, three guys out of bounds with him. So, uh, very good field position. And it's been a relatively short field, especially here in the second half for uh, Seegersom. That's very, that, very that, much that, so. That, You're that, absolutely that, right about that. They have in the second half. That's definitely been a benefit for them. And you can't really afford to do that to a team like this that's so explosive, especially on the ground. Strong side to the right side. They kick out. Motion man takes the pitch. Look out. Look at Off to the right. behind the play. as the play is developed here. He's still on his feet. No, it's takes coming the back. outside lane. He's knocked out of bounds, but the flag is shown in the offensive backfield. That run will probably go for not Jacob on the tackle there for uh, It's not laundry, it's Sand. a flag. Come on. Sand, Sam, Sam Sandoval took the run and made a nice 24, 25 yard game. That's gonna be all for out there bringing it back. The flag thrown there at about the 42 yard line, 43 yard line. Probably holding. Carlos get on that defense or that offensive line for Seegerstrom has got to be 78, I think. Okay, also, that's a clip. And one of the things they're doing a lot more this year, the referees told me both nights, last night and tonight, is they're worried more about clips in the neutral zone, the protected area, within four yards, which used to be legal. They've been cutting back in that over the last few years. That may be part of what this is. But that was the clip behind the play. The play was out in front, he was already gone. A mistake by Sagerstrom. Mistake indeed, and pushes it back all the way to their own 28 yard line. So they've got to get, wow, wow, to the uh, opposition's uh, 44 yard line. So you're looking at, wow, a 27 yards to go. First, in, first down, but 27 yards to go for first down. On the ground, look out. Uh, sorry, 25 yards to go for the first down. 33, that's once again. Denelson. As he gets his guys a few yards back up to about the 34 yard line or so, not bad. Got about five and a half, call it six yards, not bad. And again, if I'm Seekers, I'm gonna just take my old sweet time on every one of these huddles, why not? Again, you're only up by now eight. Still a decent lead, but uh, you know, you wanna make sure that, uh, just make that clock your friend, why not? They're gonna, they're probably going to do this every play. I would not be surprised. They would like this to be the last drive of the game, but I doubt that will happen. So you never know how quickly they can score, especially on the ground. But they're throwing a lot more often tonight than they thought that they would. They puts it up. Look out, a high arcing pass. And it's batted away at the last moment by the defensive back. A very nice heads up good. play by him. He was right on it. Beautiful. Good, good defense by number eight. He turned, found the ball, went up for it. Played it very well. Yeah, number he was, eight. He was well coached on that one. That one is, uh, that was Jacob Jimenez. Jimenez, one of the both way players here. One of the four, four, the Saddleback out, the Saddleback Roadrunners in green Third pants. 19 coming up for the Jaguars. I like that helmet scheme. They got the, the traditional uh, standing uh, Roadrunner bird on the white helmets. I like the white helmets with the uh, with the insignia and the uh, the big bird with the uh, inflatable uh, tunnel that they have. That was all Rob Johnson's idea. He's the AD and uh, he had it all done in design. It was all in his head. Third down and uh, 
about, uh, I would say, 19, 20 yards to go. They catch him in the backfield and smother him right away. The blocking held die down very quickly on that play. There were three or four guys in that backfield. They were what happened with the offensive line on that one for Sigurdsson? I don't know, but they weren't doing their job. No, they, they were just assignments. They was trying to draw a play. It didn't work. They didn't fool anybody. And this is very key because this force is fourth down. They'll have to punt. And they're punting it from about the 33 yard line. So that and, a, with a decent, and a lot of time left. With a decent return, they should get respectable field position. And it, that's important for a team like uh, Saddleback. They're going to need this. So 80 drops back for the return. Back to receive. He is back to receive that punt. And uh, that is Devar Amath. A-H-M-A-T-H. Takes the uh, kick right in the middle of the field there. Quick pass to first rookie tackle. Breaks three. Look out, he's got a lane on the outside. Could he go all the way? Still in bounds. And he pushes the way all the way down to about the 20 yard line. Oh man, a penalty flag thrown right around. Right around when the ball was was uh, taken by the return man. This smarts, man, because that was such a beautiful return. It got him into the red zone. It's going to come okay. back. Uh, I also, I didn't like oh, to. My. He waved both hands up there. You can't do that. I, uh, he yeah. waved both hands. And that's what they're going to, I think. Huh. They're maybe, but you, waving both hands looks a lot like one hand looks like a fair catch. It's very deceiving. No, I'm not sure that's what he's calling, but that's one thing that might be part of it. That's what they're and that may be right why now. they're talking about yeah. it. Can you put wave both hands like that? It is deceptive. I have. I know right. that. Yeah. It may I or may really not be. That. I did. I may or may not be yeah, illegal. You got a better eye than I do for that. Well, stuff. I, that I one I noticed. That one I caught. No. It, okay. Blocking from the back. Holding, pushing. Yeah, it was the other guy. He got oh, blown by him. Yeah, they, they pushed him by the receiver. That was a difference-making yeah, play in the a, game right yeah, there. Yeah. And that's going to... Yeah. He, that's he gonna, blocked yeah. him and he pushed him by. 70 yard difference. And the guy looked like he took out of his hand. Yeah. And I saw that too and I wondered if that, that could have been that. I was curious about that waving your arms like that. Yeah, that's interesting. That's uh, that's smart because they had it at the uh, right at the 20 yard line, the plus 20 yard line. And this is going to be snapped... They're going to be at their own 30 or so. Again, a great return. Yeah, I know. That was an exciting play. That was a fantastic return. The two times they've had speed tonight are on returns. Yeah. He didn't hesitate, too. He went for the outside lane, not the yeah. inside lane, because he saw less traffic there, and he made the right decision. And uh, that was just a, such a beautiful run and, and followed his initial blocking quite well. It was textbook. And it's going to yep. so count as nothing long, because it's nullified by the penalty. And that really smarts. So they've got it at their own 21 go. yard line. That's a, that's a 59 yard line. difference. That that hurts. That smarts. But they do have time to work with 537, but they really got to get something cooking here. A little bit of shifting here. Tight end's not sure where to go. They kind of swap uh, sides there, left to right. Go right. The right guy goes to the left, the left guy goes to the right. They run to that right side. They just line, well, it, that's old fashioned seven man line with two tight ends. Yep. They're just lining up and saying, we're coming right at you. There's no uh, no subtlety here, no guile. We're just, we're gonna put in a full house backfield in some kind of a formation and seven men up front. No game, maybe a loss of one. Uh, look, are they unbalanced? No, it looks it balanced. One of the left side linebackers brought him down, didn't see what it was. There's a pitch. They go to the other side this time, and he gets cut down early. It's they hit him hard. And Sigerson saying, bring it on. on the shins. Yep, they we'll, are. we'll line up seven on seven. The thing about Sigerson down through the years is that even though sometimes their offensive linemen or, and their defensive linemen are sometimes outweighted by the uh, other uh, by the yeah. other schools' and it's, lines, and it's, it's third and nine. Their size, it's their, their technique, and they're very, very well coached. I've seen them, especially the O line, but here you're seeing the defensive line. Maybe they give a few pounds to the, def the offensive line of. Uh, of a saddleback, uh, but their technique and their penetration is good. They know how to hit the gaps, and uh, it's not always the biggest guys come out the winner. Okay, here we go, third and nine. This is going to be a money play. You may see, see him put it up. They go split backfield here. They do. De Leon stays, the, stays in the pocket. Down he goes. He good rush. Twice. Good Pop rush. Collapsed pretty quickly, and down he goes. And David uh, Sack the quarterback, credit number 74. And that was 74. Andrew Magana, so, Magana. And number six, Kieran Macias with a tackle. Andrew Magana, who was... Uh, Ganya, defensive tackle, strongest kid on offense and defense, and uh, probably the best against the run as well. Or the best against, against the pass. He gets the quarterback pretty quickly. To I would they're, not be they're surprised gonna to see be the sack leader by the end of the season. He was last year. So they are punting on a necessity here. Punter, this, again, this guy's got a good foot to him. He, play, he places a nice punt. He's got, good, he's got a good strong foot. He's got a good combination of distance, height, and, and placing it. I like this kid. He's a good punter. 
Does a good job. As long as you get him a good snap, he's going to take care of the ball pretty well. And they're just going to let it go, not take yeah, any chance on a, on a fumble or a touch. I don't blame and him they got a good bounce in, too. But, but, yeah, yeah, but they were going to take no yeah. chance especially in a on one, a fumble. Yeah, especially only None. an eight-point lead. So, uh, yeah, that's exactly right. That's a good right. coaching move by, uh, by Seager. So they play it wisely. And, and again, still good field position at their own 44-yard line. So, again, the short field has been in their favor and it's yeah. been a factor here in the second half. And a first down, maybe two, certainly one, yeah. probably do it. One may do it, and two certainly would, I would think, indeed. So if you're Seager's going to continue to do what you're doing, keep it on the ground. I see absolutely no reason for putting it up at all, and milk every second you can off the clock in between the plays. Wing is way back on the right side there. The backfield man, though, takes it. He pushes forward for a few. First wave kind of missing. The second wave, the linebackers come in and put the crunch on him. McDinty on the carry there. He gets his uh, guys out to about the 49-yard line. About a good uh, six yards, we'll call it. Long five, short six. And uh, so, again, they're just going to keep it on the ground. and uh, Second about five coming up. Take their time. This will be a second down. We'll call it a long five. Or a short five, pardon me. A long four or a short five, take your pick. Yep. Around five yards to go for a first down. Let's just put it that way. Traditional double wing, one receiver to the right. Avalos, third, third year quarterback here, gives it. Better, and better job on defense that time. Yeah, they, they stayed with him. Stringing him out, much better. Run. Good lateral speed and running there by Saddleback. Much better by Sam, Saddleback. Sam Sandoval might have gotten one or two yards, and that's about it. 13, Fabian, Third sing me a song, Camargo. Outside linebacker. These today. next two plays Five, are going to be very big eight. plays. Indeed. If, if Saddleback can stop them on both, they've got a chance to get a first down. Uh, no, first down, it's over. Well, if I'm their defensive coordinator, Saddleback, I'm telling it's my boys, go for the ball. It would be take, take a knee victory formation yeah. time if they get the first down. I'm going for a strip. If they're keeping that on the ground, Pop that ball loose. That's the only hope you have at this point, I think. Puts up a stiff arm. Look out. They hit him right around the midsection where the ball Don't is. Don't think the, you made it. But he hangs on to it. I think he's a just, a, yeah, you're probably right. Probably just a half a yard, a yard short. That was 28 on the dash. Once again, McGinty. McGinty's a big kid. Senior, 5'10", 205 pounds. He's not tall enough to be a tailback. He's not big enough to be a fullback. He's probably too short to be a fullback. Not waiting enough to be a fullback. But he is a load to bring down. And you got to bring, like I said, at least two guys to bring him down. That guy gets a good hit his team going. He's not oh, smart. Sponsors, the Rainmaker so effect. Saddleback BSN has one last chance at something here. It's a fourth down, and it's going to be an interesting course, caller because it's one yard to go. You're in that semi-no-man's land. If you're, if you're uh, Seagerstum, with 1.47 remaining in the game, the I don't know. I mean, uh, Knox, if you were the head coach, would you punt or would you? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. no. I, I, I no. wouldn't punt. I wouldn't take the risk of punting. No, no. Don't take a chance on that. Yeah. I might run a sweep, take a few more seconds off the clock. Yeah, you know your running game's doing the thing. So. Yeah, and your running game, especially the sweep stuff, uh, that take more time off the clock as well. Or just get the first down. It's almost quarter. No, I wouldn't one, sneak one. it. They get a first down here. It's uh, going to yep. be effectively over. Yep. And yeah, he gets more than enough. He's got about they ran the fly. Nine. They ran the fly they sweep. That was successful. Right. Four. Right. They're going they've wide. Used it it, but they've used it well. It takes it takes the time. And he has the speed of the outside. Good and now we have play. victory formation. Moving the sticks. Moving the sticks. And uh, I think Saddleback has got one more timeout remaining. But it might be an inconsequential to, to a certain degree at this point, I would think. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, and Saddleback. A, a is, very good call that time. Yeah. I, well, well executed by the team. Again, they were able to make the corner all night long. Yeah. And yeah, they turned the corner pretty well on those outside runs. Backs are split and set weak this time. They're coming uh, with two in the backfield, which they usually don't do. They've only done it twice tonight. This is the second time. He wrestles them down. I wouldn't hand it off anymore. I wouldn't yeah. hand it off. I just could take a knee. That was Santa Maria. Got clobbered there by, uh, by Alex Vega. Let's look, also has some help from Ricky Seha. Vega and Seha almost rhymes. The brothers defenders. Well, they're not brothers, but names that sound alike. Bring them down. They locked him back for a loss of 14. Not bad. Again, if I'm Saddleback, I'm going to continue to maybe try to go for the ball and pop it loose. Why not? You got nothing to lose by trying that. They run it, uh, That's the inside yeah. flight. They're cutting up he, short. Yeah, he went in between the tackle and the, uh, defense, uh, the, uh, and the offensive end, or the tight end, I should say. 
as uh, gets him a few there. Camargo, the Camargo made the stop. The dash was uh, number 45. I, think I can't quite make out who had that uh, run there, but uh, gets him a few more. We're inside a minute to go. The clock is ticking here. And again, we're just taking our own sweet time with the with the huddle. And if so they get a five-yard penalty, they can care less. Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. It's inconsequential. Yeah, You're there's victory. Eight, just hang. Yeah, they're, they're just going to protect the ball and take the knee and say good night. And uh, yeah, i got to say, this was a, a well run. To them, they good did a good play. job, especially with that. And they probably managed the clock a little bit better than the, uh, than the Saddleback did today. Saddleback, they're still trying to find their offense. And uh, he can't be too impressed. He can't be too happy. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a youthful team. And uh, they lost a lot of seniors. Saddleback did. Uh, but this is a team still trying to feel itself out, especially on offense, you can tell. They had a, de a decent defensive struggle uh, fight here tonight. They had a couple of stops of Seegerstrom early in the uh, earlier in the first half, I think both on the north goal. Uh, but it wasn't enough. And uh, and again, Seegerstrom, you know you know what's coming with them. And like I said earlier, once or twice in the game, Knox, I was, I was a little bit surprised that they threw as well as much as they did. I would say at least uh, yeah, I, I thought early 30 they may have of the plays here tonight were, were throws. I thought early they threw you too much. You don't see that higher percentage for them. They, uh, they're passing it down. once in a while was very useful and necessary, I thought. Yeah. But they, and then they found that sweep. Then they found the fly version of the sweep yeah. and had tremendous success with that. Yeah. And Saddleback played well at times. They had some good defensive stops, but they couldn't stop the speed. Yeah. And they couldn't throw the ball. And that the only speed that they showed, the only, they, they showed speed twice on two returns. One for a touchdown, one almost. Yeah. Uh, right now, tonight, Stigerstrom's a better team. We'll, we'll, we'll see how the year goes. It's still early, folks. Uh, both teams can win a lot of games. So the Roadrunners uh, have some things to work on. Uh, was a, the second half was a pretty cleanly played half. We didn't see that many penalties. We saw some penalties, but not as many as the first half. Only to start the half. Just, just with the kickoff. So that was that was pretty goofy. Both halves that was goofy with that. I'm, I'm, still, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm that. still not over that. That was kind of weird. <laughs> I've never really seen anything like that. But outside of that, um, but yeah, you look at uh, Seekers from High School, they've got to be happy with their performance. And let's give some credit to their offensive line. They did a good job carving out those holes really all night long. And uh, they had a good night tonight. Let me get the guys again up front there for the season Jaguars on the line. Because you got to give credit where the credit is due. The guys in the trenches, so that's where the football games are won and lost. All coaches know, all good coaches. Gabriel Moda, left tackle, left guard, Kevin Kamada, center, Andy uh, Magana, uh, right guard, Paul Mora, and uh, Derek Liang, your right tackle. Those guys were pretty much responsible for uh, a good uh, control of that football here tonight. And uh, they come out a winner. The visiting uh, Seegerson Jaguars yes. here at Dillon Field, 16 to eight over okay. Saddleback. Well, we want to thank everybody here on SAUSD TV Channel 31 on your Warner or Time Warner station here in Santa Ana for joining us on the uh, School Beach Channel. It was a it was a fun one, had its moments, and uh, Seegerson has got a victory. Saddleback back to the drawing board, but we'll see what they can develop and how they can improve as the season progresses. Thanks for joining us already. My, joining, joining us, everybody. My name is Peter Pixkin Hebda, along with the Professor Knox Wisely. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next game. Good night. Thank you.